Hello everyone and welcome back and welcome to yet another video on my channel. I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day because I definitely am. You probably saw my last video where I reviewed the novel A Game of Thrones. I, I, I don't have it on me right now, but <clears throat> it exists. If you haven't, I highly recommend you go and watch it now. I will link it in the description. But this time, we will be doing book two, A Clash of Kings. It's where kings clash and have a fight. Before you begin, if you enjoy this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications to see more awesome videos like this one. Now let us begin! Before summarizes book, there are obviously a lot of spoilers, so be sure to keep that in mind. This book happens directly after the events of the first book, where and th in this book, a flaming comet is seen from the sky. Um, Joffrey has risen to the throne. However, Stannis and Renly, the brothers of King Robert, jo Joffrey's father, uh, although he he died, are also fighting for the throne. Rob Stark and Balin Greyjoy are also fighting in the war too, because they also want to be king. This sparks an upcoming war that happens in the next book. While all this is happening, um, Jon Snow goes patrolling with another ranger named Corrin Halfhand to look for some wildlings. Wait, is that why? I haven't read the book in a while, but yeah, I think that's why. <laughs> Correct me in the comments. Daenerys Targaryen is also making her way through Marine with her people, with with her people to, to Westeros to name herself queen. <coughs> all right, holy crap! How many people want the Iron Throne this bad? But my favorite character in this book is Tyrion Lannister. While I generally prefer Jon, I like to read my characters based on their chapters, and I feel that in this book, his were a bit bland, aside from the last two. But Tyrion was at the pinnacle of his character here. He was sarcastic, witty, intelligent, cunning, and, and of course, very, 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 I promise I'm almost done, very, 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 very funny. Because of all of this, his, his chapters were a joy to read. My favorite part was the climax, the Battle of the Blackwater. It was happening through the eyes of Tyrion and Davis. A few chapters were like kind of switching between them. And since we were jumping ar um, around the two, we got to see the point of view from both sides. And it'll and it'll actually this is actually a really good skill that George R. R. Martin has, where he has us rooting for both sides because we because a lot of the good characters are on either side. My least favorite part though was Daenerys's chapters. They were a chore to read and and they were extremely sluggish. And when I got to them, I would usually groan and, and have to force myself to read them. I was like, oh my god, it's Daenerys' chapter. Okay. Ugh. And I have to force myself to read it. I'm like, ugh, this is so boring. I just want to put this book down and leave. But if I wanted to reach the end of the book, I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to read it. And, it per and generally, overall, this book is okay, honestly. While the pros outweigh the cons by just a little bit, I think it's basically the Phantom Menace of the series. Mostly boring, a few highlights, and the climax being the saving grace. As its own novel, it's boring and slow and clunky. However, as part of a series, it really fits with the rest of the books well and develops the characters. I absolutely recommend this book to anyone who read the first one, as it ties some loose ends and fills in the rest of the story, while it's a bit boring. In my eyes, this book will live forever in the shadow of its predecessor, with it having better story and plot and more enjoyable and enticing characters. But that's the end of this video. Be sure to smash like if you enjoyed, and consider leaving a sub down below. Turn on notifications to see more videos, and I'll see you when I see you. Goodbye!